Imagine this. Your friend invites you to a pool party in VR chat and you need to change it to a swimsuit. At first you panic because you don't want to spend forever loading your swimsuit avatar, but then you're like, oh wait, you can just use your toggle. Well, here's how to make that toggle. <laughs> the toggle tool we're going to be using today is called Vixen. It's made by my friend Hai, but even if it wasn't, I still consider it the best tool for creating toggles because it's easy and it doesn't affect your avatar's basic programming. Or in other words, for you smart people out there, Vixen's editing is non-destructive. But first, I gotta warn you, it'll be free in mid-2024, but right now, you can only get it by subscribing to Hi on Patreon for $6. You only need to do it one time to download it. And yeah, there are free tools to make toggles, and if you want to save money, you should go research those tools. But personally, I use Vixen all the time, so it's been really worth it for me. And I'm not sponsored by Hi, they didn't tell me to make this video, I just really really like this tool. Anyway, you install it by going to this site, which I'll put in the description, and you just follow these directions to get it into your VCC. And then you go into the members only section of the Discord, and you download the Vixen and double click the Unity package. So before we learn how to toggle outfits, let's just practice some accessories, like this gun. First we're going to go to the hierarchy and right click the root of our avatar and go to create empty. Then we're going to select the game object we just made, go to add component in the inspector, and then we're going to put in Vixen folder. And then we're going to change the folder name to custom. What this does is create a folder called custom in your expressions menu. Then we're going to go back to the hierarchy, right click the custom folder we just made, and then create empty again. Then after we make sure the new object is selected, we're going to go into the inspector and add component. And then we're going to put in a Vixen control. In the name field, we're going to name it gun. Oops. <laughs> Guns are fun. And then we're going to open this toggle objects field and we're going to drag the gun into here at the top. So let's find our gun right here. And then we're going to open our Vixen control. And then we're going to drag our gun all the way into here. So what we did is we just created a toggle called gun inside of our custom folder. And if we activate it inside the game, it should display or hide the gun. So let's try it in VRChat. All right, looks good. Now we can play GTA 6 in real life. Hey. Hey, yo. Give me your car keys. Now let's learn how to toggle clothing. But let me warn you, I really don't recommend having more than one outfit on one avatar. I know it sounds convenient to have a bunch of outfits on one avatar, but just don't do it. Not only can it crash you, but by default, the game has an avatar file size limit. So imagine doing all this work just to get auto hidden. Are you stupid? You're not stupid, are you? That's why for most avatars, I'll have no toggles, or I'll have an accessory like a weapon or a phone or a drink, because I don't want to get auto hidden. But anyway, here's how to have a main outfit and a swimsuit on your avatar, which is a horrible, horrible idea. First, wear your main outfit and your swimsuit using modular avatar if you haven't already. It's okay for them to overlap like this in a scene preview because it won't look like this in the actual game. So if you don't have your custom Vixen folder already, you need to right click your avatar in the hierarchy, go down to create empty, then add component, fix in folder, and name it custom. Then select the custom folder object we just made and create empty again. And here we're going to add a Vixen control. And we're going to name this one main outfit. Then in this toggle object section here, you need to add in all the parts of your main outfit. So it looks like we have a lot of them. All right. Then check this box that says is active by default, so the game will load this outfit the first time you load the avatar. Then we're going to go back to our custom folder object again, right click and create empty. Then we're going to add another Vixen control, and then we're going to name it swimsuit. Then we're going to drag our swimsuit into the top slot just like before. There we go. And if you want Vixen to take off your main outfit whenever you put on your swimsuit, you would drag them into this bottom section down here. And actually, if you're a beginner, I would leave this bottom section empty because like it can create a logic error if you're not careful and you don't need it to like change clothes, but it's up to you. Anyway, that's all it takes to add our swimsuit toggle. So let's try it in VR chat. Let's just open our expressions menu, go to our custom folder, activate our swimsuit. All right, we did it. The toggle's working perfectly. Now our file size is really high and people's games are going to auto hide us. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 